Marie Callender's, where original recipes turn the freshest ingredients into made-from-scratch mouth-watering specialties. Marie Callender's, moist hand-carved turkey, fresh roasted throughout the day, then served just the way you like it. Marie Callender's, the freshest trout and salmon, always cooked to perfection. Marie Callender's. All the favorites and more. Having trouble getting the family to eat wheat bread? Try Buttertopped Home Pride Wheat. They'll love the soft texture and light thin crust. You'll love the nutrition. Only one gram of fat and cholesterol free. Hey, looks like you figured out how to get the family to like wheat bread. Home Pride Wheat, the taste that brings healthy bread home. Cerritos Auto Square gives you an easier way to buy your next car with best value prices. Now, all 24 dealers have a special price clearly marked on the windshield of most every new and used car in stock. Save hundreds, even thousands without having to ask. Buying couldn't be easier. So check the best value prices marked right on the windows at your Cerritos Auto Square dealers today. Burn, I'm so excited about this sale at Cerritos Auto Square. I'm beside myself. Freshen up your weekly menu with new Butterball Fresh Turkey. Grill a Butterball kebab, bake a Butterball roast. That Butterball taste makes stir fry the most. Butterball Fresh Turkey adds excitement to any meal, any time. Mm, make a Butterball burger, cook a Butterball stew. Butterball fajitas, there's always something new. Taste the exciting variety of Butterball Fresh Turkey. The best of all is Butterball. Television situation comedy star Sasha Mitchell surrendered to Ventura County authorities today after he was charged with violating his parole. The 28-year-old star of the show Step by Step has been on uh, probation in a domestic violence case. Yesterday was the third time in two months that Mitchell has failed to appear in court on parole violation charges, and the judge called for his arrest. He has been serving a three-year probation after pleading no contest to charges that he beat his wife, who was pregnant. With a Tony Award, four Emmy nominations, and a dozen films under his belt, actor Jason Alexander was looking for a challenge in his next project. That's exactly what he found with the movie Dunstan Checks In, especially because one of his primary co-stars isn't exactly human. Eat the Four Seasons. No, no, no! <laughs> I'm sorry. I just wasn't prepared to speak about monkey. Money! Money! Alexander uh, plays the manager of a luxury hotel that is invaded in by Dunstan, a thieving orangutan and his this. evil owner. <laughs> but Dunstan befriends Alexander's son and tries to change his ways. So what about W.C. Field's old adage about never working with kids or animals? Ah, uh, he never knew what he was talking about. <laughs> um, no, it, it, the, the secret of success with kids and animals, not only working with them, but having to watch them, is get the right kids, first of all, because some kids make you smile and other kids make you go... And um, we have... I've been lucky enough to only work with great kids. And uh, Dunstan is... Uh, he's like another kid. I mean, it's hard to look at him and see an animal for me anymore. He's just like a little child. The child who shares the screen as Alexander's on-screen son is Eric Lloyd. He loved working with his new orangutan friend and learned the tricks to get him to respond. He likes jelly beans a lot. He even likes these gourmet kinds, like these weird green color. Tim, put your hand up there. Put your hand up there. Perfect. The hard thing is to make him concentrate sometimes, like today. He wants to play, so you know, it's actually pretty hard to make him not want to play. Because almost every kid wants to play, and he's just like a little kid. Right, Sam? Peekaboo. Well, the movie also stars Faye Dunaway and Pee Wee Herman. Dunstan will check into theaters tomorrow. The well, Hollywood Walk of Fame has a shiny new star this afternoon. It belongs to television star David Hasselhoff. The star of hit shows like Baywatch and Knight Rider was inducted into the Hall of or the Walk of Fame today with honorary Hollywood Mayor Johnny uh, uh, presiding over the ceremony. Including David Hasselhoff, the Walk of Fame now has 2,060 stars who are firmly stuck in all that <laughs> cement there. Being stepped on every day and loving it. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Dallas Rains joins us with the weather and uh, it's more uh, more on the way back east, and we are the the scorn of everybody who. That's true. That's true. Isn't is watching these different. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Beautiful day here in Southern California. It is summertime in January, but 
we still have some snow. Yes, believe it or not, and we'll show it to you next on The Weather. Take control of your life. Attend the Entrepreneur Expo. I'm tired of working for someone else. I want to know what comes up new this year. Time to do it for yourself. Choose from business opportunities, franchises, home-based businesses, and distributorships. Talk to experts and receive free business advice and information. A lot of ideas. I love it. Now is the time to start a small business. See the Entrepreneur Expo this weekend at the Pomona Fairplex. Fairplex exit off I-10. Start your own business now. In the world of Alaska Airlines, the food tastes good. The number two, please. Good choice. No extra charge. And the word reliable... Gotta go. ...actually means something. It's a place where service goes the extra mile. Hey, lady! You forgot your change. Keep it, kid. Does this perfect world exist? Hey, lady! Only in the clouds. For the same price, you just get more. Alaska Airlines, the last great airline. Hi, I'd like to talk to you about your weight. Tell me, how often have you been on a diet and failed? Too often? Well, guess what? Maybe it wasn't your fault. Maybe you needed a friend who could be with you every step of the way. Well, now there's a program called Cutting Through the Fat that comes with your personal weight loss consultant. Are you ready to meet that friend? Are you ready to make one phone call that can change your life? Then please do it. You deserve it. One day, Miguel came in with his new creation, and we all said, What's that? My Santa Fe chibi. To which we replied, What's that? I take marinated steak, grilled chicken, rice, beans, and layer between crisp tortillas, so in every bite, you taste it all. Splendiferous! What's that? <laughs> Come try the Santa Fe Chimmy at El Torito. And right now, get free fried ice cream. <laughs> this program on KABC-TV is brought to you by Save On. At Save On, you can count on people, people who care. When you're sick, when you're hurting, when you need the medication that will help you feel better, you need it right now. You don't really want to go into a store and find they don't have it. Savon's Healthcare Center has more medicines, pain relievers, more cold remedies and first aid products than just about any place around. And a Savon pharmacist to help you. You'll find exactly what you need at Savon, your total healthcare center. Why go anywhere else? At Savon, you can count on people who care. Well, the Space Shuttle Endeavour is chasing down a satellite this afternoon following a spectacular pre-dawn launch. Three, two, one. Booster ignition and liftoff of Endeavour in pursuit. And they certainly light up the sky when they go off before, before the sun comes up. The only issue this morning, temperatures in the mid-40s along the central Florida coast. That's the lowest since the Challenger disaster about 10 years ago when 36 degree weather was blamed on a solid rocket booster failure. NASA has since adopted tougher new weather guidelines. The six astronauts will retrieve a Japanese science satellite during nine days in orbit. Beautiful launch. Spectacular. There's no other kind. No. They really are beautiful. The weather in the rest of the East, well, that's your department, Dallas. More Rainsburg. problems on the East Coast, Chris and Steve, and folks at home. As we enjoy this beautiful weather, I know you've been outside today, and it has been wonderful. Temperatures today in the 80s. We didn't break a high, but it's okay. We're about 85 degrees, and it has been lovely. Santa Ana's are still blowing in some parts of the city, but not as bad as they were last night when they were really howling at times after midnight. Now, let's go up to Mountain High. We do have snow in Southern California. And we have to make it right now. This time last year, we had about, I don't know, about six feet of it up there. But uh, they're still skiing and snowboarding and mountain high up at Wrightwood. And what a beautiful day to do that, too. All right, let's take a look at what's going on around the area. Ontario, finally a break. The winds are very light. It's clear and 85 degrees. East winds now at Oxnard. And look at the temperature at Oxnard. 90 degrees at this hour. Big Bear, 53. Beautiful Oxnard by the sea where all those strawberries are. Santa Ana, northeast wind at 88. Humidity, by the way, very low at 12%. The radar will show what's going on. We did have 85, as I mentioned, which was below the record high of 87, set in 1987. All right, here's the radar picture of the big storm in the east. We have a lot of things snowing now from Chicago down to Louisville, Kentucky. 
good snow, just wind and blowing. And then down in this area, these yellow and red, areas, those are thunderstorms. See that line of thunderstorms right there? That is causing heavy rain and down power lines in Birmingham, Alabama. Here's the big satellite picture of the west. And you can see that arc in the cloud pattern over the ocean. We can slip on over to the West Coast satellite view. There we go. Thank you. And there it is. Look at this high pressure. This thing is like huge covering the whole western seaboard. Only one getting any rain at all is way up in Seattle. But clear from Mammoth Mountain all the way down to San Diego. The deserts are beautiful. Let's fly on in and see what's going on. A few clouds around Seattle, but look at this all down the coast. And when it is this clear along the Oregon coastline, it is really something to see. There's the cloud pattern associated with the storm that is now moving uh, eastward. And we'll track it, taking the snow from Chicago and Midwest right on into Washington, D.C. again. And you know what, folks? See that area right through there where the green is, the rain mixed with sleet? This is going to be a messy weather system. But from there back, the only thing we're looking for is sunshine and the possibility of some fog coming back in by the weekend. Enjoy this weather. Tonight's lows will be in the upper 40s to low 50s, and then tomorrow's highs. Another warm day, uh, not as hot as today, but certainly just beautiful. Cool up in the high deserts this time of the year. And the Santa Ana is blowing in a 54 at Big Bear. All right, here's the five-day forecast. Uh, mild Santa Ana's will continue to blow tonight, and then mostly sunny and warm tomorrow, 82. And look at that weekend, just right for us. 79 on Saturday, 78 on Sunday. And in the long-range outlook, cooler temperatures with clouds coming in on Tuesday and Wednesday. But right now, it appears that it will not rain with our next weather system coming in next week. Sorry about that. Maybe some drizzle, that's about it. Okay. Thanks, Dallas. Thank you. Well, still ahead, will the President and Congress finally agree on a budget? We'll have the latest on the financial gridlock coming up. Plus, a car bursts into flames in a deadly freeway accident. And police search for answers after an elderly woman is murdered. Both stories and more still to come on Eyewitness News at 4. Stay with us. I miss you, Grandma. I really miss you. With a Jennifer sofa bed, there's always a place to stay. Jennifer Convertibles. Why buy an ordinary sofa when you can buy a sofa bed? At the Broadway January Mattress Spectacular, the price on every mattress just came down. Save on every size, firmness, and style mattress we carry. Every Spring Air, Serta, Sealy, Beauty Sleep, and Simmons. And now through Monday, get a bonus 15% off the sale price. Plus, there's free delivery with every premium set purchase, along with free pickup of your old mattress. Use your Broadway Gold account, and there's no payment or finance charge till August. The January Mattress Spectacular bonus days going on now through Monday at the Broadway. Everything you see on this plate was purchased at your typical supermarket. Everything here bought at Food for Less. Both are identical, except for something you can't see or taste. And that's the price. In fact, at Food for Less, you don't pay more for thick, tender, USDA select beef and vine-ripened produce. You just get more. So shop at your supermarket and dine alone, or shop at Food for Less and invite all your friends. Food for Less. The prices bring you in. The quality brings you back. Feel the passion of leather. Jennifer Leather. The luxury of leather for less. Because of your excellent response to SunJet's low fares, we're extending our introductory fares to New York via Newark and Dallas. Call 1-800-4-SUNJET to reserve your seat. Channel 7 brings you this seven-day planner as a community service. Monday, January 15th, help Building Up LA celebrate the holiday by volunteering for a day of community service. Tuesday, January 16th, the American Lung Association's Freedom from Smoking class will begin. And the weekend of January 20th, climb a rock wall at the LA Adventure Travel Expo and benefit the Wildlife Way Station. Please send your events at least four weeks in advance to the 7-Day Planner, a community service of KABC-TV Channel 7. ALA, watch Jeopardy! tonight at 7 right here on Channel 7. Eyewitness News at 4 continues with Steve Wolford, Christine Lung, Dallas Rains Weather, and Rick Lozano Sports. The investigation continues in Lake Elsinore at this hour as police are searching for the killer of an elderly woman. Her body was discovered this morning. Eyewitness News reporter Bob Banfield has uh, the full story for us. Neighbors knew surprisingly little about the lady who lived at the end of Garner Road in Lake Elsinore. 
other than the fact she lived alone, kept to herself, and loved cats. Ironically, it was the cries of the hungry cats that prompted a neighbor to call the sheriff about her well-being. Uh, when they arrived, they uh, found the elderly woman was deceased inside her home. Any idea on the cause of death? Uh, it's being investigated as an unintended death with uh, suspicious circumstances at this point. Any idea who the lady was and how long has she been dead? Uh, indications that uh, she might have been dead for several days, and we don't have the information on the victim as of yet. The Riverside County Coroner has yet to release the name, cause of death, or how long the lady in her 60s had been dead. The deceased woman's cats, some 30 in number, will most likely be removed to the Lake Elsinore Animal Shelter. The investigation into the death continues. Bob Anfield, Channel 7 Eyewitness News, at Lake Elsinore. President Clinton held a full news conference at the White House today and appeared optimistic about an agreement on a balanced budget. The budget talks were the main topic at the hour-long session with reporters. But we, we've moved there. We are not that far apart on the money. As a percentage of the total monies that will be spent in the categories at issue, we probably are warring over less than 2% now. But in terms of the policies and the human impact, the potential is very great in that money that's left. So there are policy differences left. Now what I'm saying to you is, we owe it to the American people to pass a balanced budget deal and to do it now. Well, the president also announced federal disaster aid for victims of the blizzard and defended the first lady, saying she should do what is necessary to clear up the Whitewater and Travelgate controversies. House Speaker Newt Gingrich says that he is disappointed with President Clinton's comments on the budget. Speaking in Seattle, where he attended a rally last night, Gingrich says nothing he heard from Mr. Clinton gave him reason for optimism. Now, I'm committed to getting to a balanced budget. Every person who was at the rally last night, 1,800 people, are committed to getting to a balanced budget. We know that our children and our grandchildren's future depends on getting to a balanced budget. But they also said without any question that no deal's better than a bad deal. Gingrich says the president made misleading claims about the cuts that uh, he has offered to make. Steve. Two American newspapers are saying that uh, as many as 8,000 bodies of Bos Bosnian Muslims and Croats may be buried in a mine shaft. All were reportedly killed by Bosnian Serbs. In Bosnia, both Serbs and Croats burned houses as they left areas they'd occupied. And American tanks reopened the main road between Sarajevo and Tuzla. When they saw the tanks, Bosnian Serbs and Muslims began taking down barriers they'd placed across the road and removing mines from traffic lanes. So we had both Bosnian Serbs in the south, uh, Bosnian Muslims in the north, both working to uh, help us break through on this route. U.S. Army engineers used portable bridges to get the road open so peacekeeping forces can be resupplied. Aboard helicopters and tanks, Russian troops are closing in on a convoy of Chechen rebels at this hour. The rebels still hold about 160 hostages. Most of them are women and children. The rebels had earlier released nearly 3,000 hostages before setting out in a caravan of buses from Chechnya, or for Chechnya. Now they stopped uh, in a village along the border of their homeland. Russian troops advanced on the village today in dozens of armored vehicles, while trucks towed in heavy artillery. The Chechens are demanding independence for their homeland, and they are still threatening to kill the hostages if those demands are not met. In Paris, dignitaries from around the world gathered today to say goodbye to former French President Francois Mitterrand. Mitterrand led France from 1981 to 1995. He died Monday of prostate cancer at the age of 79. Today, German Chancellor Helmut Kohl openly grieved for Mitterrand, who was Kohl's strongest ally in forming the European Union. 250 world leaders and dignitaries attended the services, including Vice President Al Gore. Mitterrand was later buried in a private ceremony.